Hello everybody, Shiny Squirtle here, bringing you guys a, n a new Pokemon challenge. I'm gonna be try in this challenge. I'm gonna be trying my best to get at least one win in the all important Click Flamethrower and Win Challenge. So you might notice if you if and I'll go through the sets probably at some point in between th this battle and the next, but. You might notice already, kind of a trend. My only attacking move on any of these sets is Flamethrower. So, yeah. Gonna make battling a whole lot harder and a lot more interesting for sure. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying to get a win using nothing but Flamethrower. And this is actually probably the best chance I have of getting a win with it, because I, mean, I have indirect damage like toxic slazzle and things like that but i mean i just don't see anything that can really stop mega charizard y right now like maybe oh and the forfeit okay but yeah i'm gonna be trying to actually see if i can get uh just pure win without forfeiting i'll just let them know don't forfeit Hopefully that won't encourage a forfeit. But he's got probably the hardest team for me to win against. Because, I mean, he has Dragonite, resists me. Garchomp, resists me. And nothing that's actually weak to fire. Actually, I think Garchomp even quad resists me almost. Definitely appears to. So. Yeah, this is gonna be a quick battle, probably, because I think that Dragonite's about set up to sweep at this point for my entire team. Well, against my entire team, I mean. Not for my entire team, because. Yeah. It, that isn't my Dragonite. I mean, if I could just switch players right now, that would be amazing, but it technically wouldn't be Click Flamethrower and win then. Uh, yeah, you can, I've kind of been playing around with the Trick Room idea, but, I mean, just the rest of my team's way too quick to really make use of that. I think, like, the best chance I really have is Alolan Executor and its Sleep Powder Flamethrower Leech Seed combo. But, I mean, I'm just saying this is going to be a straight-up <laughs> loss for me. So yeah, and the point of this challenge is just to see if I can win using nothing but flamethrower. And so far, it's proving to be a no. You can't win with just flame with just raw flamethrowers. You need some kind of coverage. Which, I mean, had I been playing normally, that Slow King would have had Ice Beam and would have wrecked Dragonite and Garchomp's days. But when you're doing a challenge, you kind of have to stick to the challenge, so can't really say I, yeah, like, this is just not going well. I'm thinking like will o and then into Inferno Overdrive, which is probably my strongest combo, but yeah. And then Slazzle's like my last ditch here. Actually, Slazzle, no wait, Slazzle's probably not faster, but yeah. Well, there's the loss. And then... See, I'm probably only gonna do, like, 15 minutes of battling today, but... But, yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, that Gigalith is gonna give me a hard time, I can tell. Like, the Gigalith is probably gonna... Like, either Gigalith there, or, um... Garchomp. Basically, those middle two, I think, are the ones to fear. Drampa also has a resist against me, but not nearly as bad as as Garchomp and the thing and Gigalith, especially with its new Spadef buff in Sandstorm, because it's rock typing and now has Sandstorm as an ability. So, ooh, the Z power, never ending nightmare. Oh crap. Surprised I tanked that. I'm um, just gonna try and get Leech Seed set up so I get a little bit of health back. 
and then, um, so yeah, so, if any of you guys ever want to battle me, just hit me up with your, with your, um, showdown name, and I'll m battle you if I'm on at the same time, and, and hopefully we can have a pretty good fight, I might, I'm probably not gonna be using this team, I'm probably gonna be using a more serious team, which I might show you one of my serious teams towards the end, but, Actually, for this one, everything I have is slower than Garchomp. Ah, oh, crap. But everything I have is faster than Delamize, I think. Except for Slow King, of course. But basically, Slazzle, Charizard Y does not look like a good team for Trick Room. Now, thing is, they don't know what they don't know. I'm doing the Click Flamethrower and Wind Challenge, but yeah. I'm also going to be bringing you guys a 7th generation Pokemon quiz that I put together. Kind of like the um, typing challenge one that I did the other day. Well, not sure when it's actually going to be uploaded comparatively to this. But it'll probably come up out before this. But you guys probably remember the video if you saw it. Because I don't have very many fans. But hoping to kind of expand to some of the Minecraft community and some of the... Pokemon community doing showdown battles mainly and um, basically doing showdown and Minecraft because I have some more Minecraft maps that I'm planning on doing. I even have some that I just haven't revealed to you guys yet. Here we go. Fire Ram Z. Watch him flamethrower. Oh wait, I have speed. And then the Dragon Pulse Crud. Um, Mega Evolve Set the Sun Flamethrower. Because, yeah, I mean, I don't really have very many options with just Flamethrower. And technically, Inferno Overdrive is a different move, but yeah. <laughs> it's still powered by Flamethrower, you guys all saw. And. Oh yeah, I was I was gonna go through my sets, didn't I? Oh well, <laughs> now we're just waiting. I'm gonna put. Oh, I was gonna say I might put the timer on, but they're playing now. So wait, no, he says Gengar is, is sleep fodder, basically. The Pokemon that's asleep in the back of the game, in the back, even though it's not actually getting play, still can't make use of it, of Sleep Powder, because Gengar is in the back there, being asleep. Now, th this thing gets annoying with Flamethrower Air Slash, but I'm not sure what set it is. I mean, it could be um, Sub Protect. Potentially, I've seen four attacking moves. I've seen three attacking moves and protect. Three attacking moves and sub. Ass vest. I've seen a lot of different sets. I'm just gonna start the timer to try and speed the game up a bit, just to kind of make it kind of like. I like games where there's like that clock where you have to just tap and it's just back and forth, trying and not use up all of your time. Which is kind of why I, I guess I like the um, new rules for um, Pokemon Sun and Moon's competitive. Because the Your Time system, it's kind of like you have to just tap your own play clock. And you can't like affect the opponent's play time at all. Because after they hit their button, you don't they don't have anything to do with you after that. Wow. That's a testament to how slow Drampa is. Slower than Garchomp. That just means it's Speed Chomp, it, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. I'm faster. Sub. He's... Wait, he's Scarfed. Wait, no, he's Choice Banded. That's Choice Band, I think. Might be wrong. I mean, you guys can go shout at me all you want if I, I was wrong about that being 
Oh, he's saying the GG. Is he saying that because he thinks I'm I've lost it? Oh, or is he saying that because he thinks I've won it? Oh, no, he definitely thought he'd won that. Okay, so I think I have about time for like one to two more games, depending on whether there's a rage quit or not. And this seems to be actually probably one of the better teams for me to go up against. Like, Lando's a little bit terrifying, but Tapu Fini is probably going to be the main problem here. There we go for the immediate switch into a Lola, into a Lola Executor, which is so unbelievably tall. Like, I couldn't imagine a 35 foot tall pine or er, palm tree. Why did I say pine? Um, so yeah. Um, by the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video, go down and hit that like button. Potentially, if you aren't already, subscribe and and stay around for a few more videos because we definitely are ha having more to come. Might do some more fun battles like this, some more trickier ones to, or I might even do some more skill-based ones and not just, do I have a decent team? Because this team right now is just the worst. I mean, basically, what looks like a tank slazzle set versus, um... So yeah, if I could switch into Drampa, it just doesn't have anything to touch Drampa. Okay, it didn't have anything to touch um, Slazzle either. And I forgot about Misty Terrain. Here we go. Disable the moon. Blast and hopefully it doesn't. It didn't. Oh, it went for Scald. Crap. Here we go. Put you in an unfavorable situation. Hopefully, you don't have something to respond to Slowbro after Moon Blast is gone from your kit. I'm guessing like Hydro Pump Scald combo. Oh, with Taunt. Crap. Once, once my team gets started, it's all flamethrower. Because I literally have nothing else to deal with. Okay, and I think that's another game. Anyway, I actually have time for one more game. Because Tapu Koko is just fast and deadly to this team because they have almost no synergy with each other because they all have to know Flamethrower. So, I mean, that leaves me like with like one water option to scare off fire types. And Bulu is probably the only thing giving me any confidence. And potentially, I think that's Savali Steel is what I'm guessing. Oh, no. Electric. Thank you for telling Telling me, I was gonna say, it looked like steel from the intro screen, but then I guess that's just what the valley looks like in general. But yeah, the valley, um, electric versus, um, the grass dragon thing. So yeah, now we just need to set up. Leech seed, get the sub seed going, and then um, basically just do what I do, and that is flamethrower, the burn. I basically have won this now, cause he can't do enough damage to kill me. I can do enough damage to overheal him. And Leech Seed takes him out. And I still have Citrus Berry. He, he's probably wondering, like, what the heck is this guy doing? Because this is, like, the worst set ever. But maybe he just 
Ooh, maybe he's not expecting the flash fire. Oh, no. Or he knows and knew to switch into a water type that can deal with the Z move. But, I mean, Greninja isn't tanky enough to tank a Z move, is it? Oh, no, but it's fast enough to deal with me beforehand, anyway. And now I don't have enough speed to deal with it, because I have... I need to basically bank on a miss. Nope. And I lose. Because Mega Charizard Y is one Oh! He went for Ice Beam! Why would you go for Ice Beam unless you were predicting, like, a Mega Charizard X? And... Didn't want to go stab? I don't even know what that guy was thinking. And if you guys don't want me hitting the skip turn button, I'll stop doing that. It, it's just so fun to hurry the game along, because games on here take quite a while the way I normally play, so I'm so used to just most games going out to 50 turns, so... Here we go. We're fighting through this. It's not looking good, though. I'll tell you that much. Like, we need to... I need to get through this Moltres with some flamethrowers left. Okay, and it has ancient power. Great. Just perfect. And now I have no fire for the sun to boost my fire. And it gets the boost. Oh, great. And my computer is lagging a lot. Um, someone else is calling in the middle of this. Uh, I'll probably, ca I'll probably call them back in like one minute. Because yeah, this is my last attempt on it. And if you guys want to see me attempt it again, because I'll definitely do another shot at this. I'll do it in the next episode. So today we didn't get any success, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!